Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly, and I've got a good one for you today. I am in Laguna Niguel, California, and this has made national headlines with these houses that have burnt down. You've got $10 million houses uh, that have caught fire, where 20 houses were lost. I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the mountains. Now, I walked through this, guys, last summer. Showed you guys this whole area. But take a look at this. You know, absolutely scorched this whole area and uh, just took out all these houses. But they still got some hot spots up here. Uh, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to talk about preparation today and how important it is uh, for you, your family, your business, everything. Uh, please don't forget the like button, subscribe button. Uh, share it with everybody, guys. But uh, take a look at this. Um, you can see just how scorched this whole area is. And uh, I'm going to try to get closer for you guys. But uh, got the fire department. All the red that you see out there is from the fire retardant that gets dropped. So it's pretty fascinating. When you look this way, over there at those houses right there, that's all the houses that uh, got completely torched. And again, those are $10 million houses. How'd you like to be the person selling your house? One of those houses was for sale for 10 million. And regardless of the insurance that you have, it's done. The insurance company's not gonna write you a check for 10 million, they're gonna fix the house up. So this is the perfect example of how prepared are you. How prepared are you for disaster? How prepared are you for anything that can happen? Because with this economy, we don't know what's gonna happen from one day to the next. These people didn't expect to fire. These people didn't expect to lose everything. And that's what they've experienced right now. So, you know, what's your insurance like in your house? What's, you know, do you have a plan if something happens, if there's any catastrophe? And you've got to have that plan got to figure out what you can do to get out, to get out what's important. You know, you know, people talk about having a go bag if you had to leave no, actually, yeah, an area quickly. Uh, you know, do you have that packed? Do you have cash? Do you have a uh, passport? Do you have ID? Do you have credit cards? Do you have everything ready in case there's some type of sudden emergency? All these people standing on the ridge taking a look at this. This is a perfect warning. And again, these poor people, this is such a beautiful community. It's so nice. And these houses have gone up an absolute ton in value, but they're worthless now. They're worth nothing now as a result of the fire. And again, you know, nobody plans on that. And somebody called me today and says, oh, at least they've got insurance to protect that $10 million asset. No, the guys, done. Some of these people wanted out of these houses and they're never getting out of these houses now. So they can get them rebuilt. By the time they get them rebuilt, it's not going to be worth $10 million. Let's put it that way. Use this time. Warning after warning after warning. Do you have food? Do you have emergency supplies? Do you have a way of getting out? What happens if you lost everything and your family was the victim of something like this? Are you prepared for that? You can clearly see all the red spots where the fire retardant was dropped. You can see how everything's just been absolutely scorched up there. Let me zoom in. Those are the $10 million houses that got destroyed. Absolutely unbelievable, guys. Plus, one of the houses was for sale. That's absolutely horrific. These poor people. The absolute devastation of these homes is horrific. Look at this, guys. It's unbelievable, guys. A $10 million property completely destroyed. This is so devastating. These poor people. Absolutely unbelievable.
I'm gonna get out of here and let the firefighters do their job, but this is just incredible. You've still got houses on fire down here, guys. It's an absolutely unbelievable. Just decimated, but again, what plan do you have? Do you have a plan? Look at this house, completely destroyed, guys. This is what the wildfires do. This is what they do. They whip through it. Sorry for the wind. Okay. You see them? I can't get any closer, guys. I'm sorry. But this is it, guys. This is this is the devastation that could happen at a moment's notice that you have to be ready for. These poor people. Oh my gosh, this is so horrific to see this. Look at this. Still spraying water on the hot spots. It's incredible, guys. These poor families have just lost everything, you know? Absolutely devastating. Firefighters are still out here. Insurance uh, adjusters are out here already uh, assessing damage. But this is crazy. They let me walk through as a member of the press, believe it or not. So, again, guys, absolute devastation. You know, I wanted to show this to you guys as I walk out of here. You know, a few things. We got the producer price index numbers. Think about this, guys. We're supposed to believe that inflation is at 8.3% and the wholesale prices are at 11%. It's insane, guys. None of this makes sense, none of it's real, and uh, it's absolutely devastating to think about that. We're getting charged all this money, prices go up on absolutely everything. You know it, you see it on everything that you purchase, but the big lie is that, look at this, guys, as I turn around. The big lie with all of us is that inflation is at 8.3%. What a lie, what an absolute lie. Insurance costs, think about this. You pray that these people have insurance for these homes to the appropriate value. And again, has your house shot up in value in the last couple years? Is it insured for the replacement cost of that value? Or is it insured for the 300000 you paid for the house? That's on you. Here's another warning. You know, here's 10 million good reasons to, to plan better. Now, again... I'm gonna walk back up the hill, guys. They're telling us that the unemployment numbers are the best since 1970. You know that that's not true. You know that there's tons of companies that can't afford to hire people now. And we're seeing this left and right. And things are completely upside down, absolutely devastating right now. So it's absolutely a horrific time in the economy. The baby formula situation, is outrageous, absolutely outrageous. My girlfriend took a friend of hers that has a, an infant child. They drove to five different stores to find the baby formula she needed. They found it. You know, that's terrible, guys, that people have to do this. Nothing's being done about inflation. The Fed isn't doing anything. Our government's not doing anything. It's every man for himself. And here's the perfect example of how you need to be prepared for whatever could happen. And again, nobody plans on a fire, okay? So you've gotta get yourself ready for something like this in case, you know, there's disaster. What happens if disaster strikes? Are you ready for that? And this is the perfect example of how you need to be ready for that. Because I guarantee you, this neighborhood, nobody thought this. Everything, guys, look at this. It's all concrete. It's all tile roofs. Oh, this stuff's not gonna burn. You don't have to worry about it. The wind-blown fire was so strong, things went through windows to start fires. They went through the attic space and torched everything. Absolutely lost. So, sorry for the wind. Okay, I can't help. There's a windscreen on it, so don't say do you have a windscreen, because I do. But these poor people, you know, Everything should be a warning for you guys. Everything should be something that if, you know, 
Look at what happened to these people today. Do you have the right amount of insurance? Do you have everything ready in case there's a disaster like this that would happen? Well, my area's not gonna burn, Dan. I live by myself, I live out here. La, 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 la. Okay, everybody's gonna tell me that. You have to be prepared. Are you ready for the earthquake? Are you ready for a hurricane? Are you ready for anything else that could happen? How about those tornadoes that we've had over the course of the last month? You ready for that? What do you do? What do you do? Come on. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I wanted to walk through and show you this as I drive back up. I've had a really busy day. Started it in San Diego and then drove up here. Laguna Niguel is in South Orange County next to a city called Dana Point that we've been to a bunch of times. But uh, it's beautiful. It's a gated community. It's got a guard gate here, guys. Can't walk in here. You know, they stop everybody that drives in. Okay? So this can happen to anybody. It can happen to you. So be prepared for this, okay? Share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. So you've got the hot spot there. You've got the wind really whipping up. You can see it. But these hot spots can whip up in a moment's notice and take off again. You can have flames that could uh, uh, jump that fire break in a second and you've got nothing but problems. So the helicopters were here. Here's a perfect example of how they've shut down everything. And this is Perrin. She lives in uh, uh, La, Mer. La Mer, the track right below the track that is burning. Yeah. And she's gotta get her medication, guys. So the sheriff has everything shut down. She can't get through. And this is what happens when they do this. So they should let you through, you know, when you drive up there. And I would just slowly go around the cones and tell them your story and they should let you through. Okay. Because, because your track, is not the one that's burning it's the one below yeah, it, but i know yeah, you can't yeah. get through the other side either so again guys thank you good thank luck you okay much. you're very welcome thank you. thank you. again prepare you have no idea uh perrin had to leave the house without her medication didn't know how bad it was they did a mandatory evacuation yesterday had to leave but been without her medicine for a day don't let this happen to you guys okay do what you can do Now, what motivates you to prepare? Is it Perrin walking out of her house, leaving because of mandatory evacuation and not having her medication? Oh, we'll be back soon. Again, what motivates you? Now, back on, uh, towards my house, near the golf course, and I always love this, there's a no fishing sign here, but these kids are up here fishing in the, in the lake at the golf course. They just pulled out some massive trout out of this thing, which was unbelievable. And, uh, oh, they got another one, look at this. Okay, kid cut another fish. Unbelievable. So, you know, everything's going up right now. Services are through the roof right now. Here's the thing, you're seeing industries that are completely destroyed right now because of subscription-based models that people cannot afford. Termite industries are getting clobbered by this right now because they cannot have people pay their monthly fees. Hey, we need to cancel this. We don't need you here. People are gonna start to go without right now in their lives. What do we not need to spend money on? Perfect example, airline tickets. In the month of April, airline flights, purchases were down 17%. People don't have the dough to do this. What they're doing is, yeah, gas prices are out through the roof, but let's weigh how much this is gonna cost to fly, you know, 400 miles. Let's do it. You know, I had a, an opportunity to go to Provo, Utah this last week, and my God, I really don't want to fly there. I really just don't want to spend the money to do it. We got it all worked out. We're doing all this video conferencing and stuff, so I don't have to do that. But again, what, you know, what motivates you to prepare? What are you not spending money on? Because when you look at the real estate business, it's taken a turn. And you have to look at none other than Jay Farmer, the CEO of, of Rocket Mortgage. There's a great Fortune Magazine uh, article where he's talking about how this is done and the real estate market's turning. He's seen it with his company. He's seen it with the uh, you know uh, thousands of people he has to lay off right now in his company and the sheer demand has been cut. It's been completely sawed in half like a magic trick, a woman getting cut in half. It's crazy. So with that, you know, there's just so many other things that people have to seriously look at 
I could cut another one. Isn't that great? Anyways, I love the no fishing sign. I wonder what, how much trouble they get in if somebody walks up and says, you're not supposed to do that. Um, so refis are slowing. Uh, Tesla sales are slowing. The Tesla stock is going down right now. So much so that they say that Elon Musk may not be able to uh, complete uh, the Twitter purchase. So that's interesting. But there is a guy that's involved with helping Elon raise money called Jason Calacanis. And this guy's a heavy duty player. He was involved and friends with Jack Dorsey. And uh, Jason was so uh, involved with Twitter when it got set up that his Twitter handle is Jason at Twitter, okay? That's how early Jason Calacanis is. And this guy runs a show called This Week in Startups. If you wanna get startup education, that's a great guy to follow because he's just a, a real player, no nonsense. I like him because he's just gruff and tells people that their ideas are terrible, but he's really good at helping people raise money. So. He is raising money for Elon Musk to do this 250 grand at a time, if you guys are interested in that. And then a couple of recall notices that we've seen with the auto industry. First thing is Carvana. Okay, let's, let's talk about this. The Carvana company just laid off 2,500 people, which think about this, Carvana had 10,000 workers there. Okay, that's kind of a beautiful golf course when you, when you see this. They had 10,000 workers, they laid off 25% of their staff. But the stock was so heavily shorted that with the shorting of the stock, they uh, have seen the stock price go up 25% right now, and the company is having huge financial problems. So again, in this wacky world of, of uh, the stock market right now where you know reality has no concept in the truth in anything that happens, you're seeing Carvana stock go up when they're laying people off and uh, having serious financial difficulties because so many people have uh, short of the stock. Rivian, the electric truck company, car company, whatever you want to call them, they just recalled 500 cars, which may not seem like a lot, but they've only delivered a few thousand cars. So they've already got 500 cars that have airbag problems uh, that may not go off. Okay. Now, Hyundai, Hyundai Sonata, 215,000 cars because of a fuel line problem and potential fire. Well, that sounds safe. Okay. So there's that. So again, there are websites out there that you can search that if you want to see if your car is under recall, uh, you can find that out. And if you own a Tesla, it's definitely under recall because everything that Tesla sells is under recall. So, nice golf course, beautiful. You got the geese over here hanging out. But, uh, you know, we're living in really weird times right now, guys, and that is that... People don't want to look at, uh, you know, what is real right now. The stock market is not real. When you have producer price index, the wholesale prices go up to 11%, and we're kind of, you know, lied to and told that uh, regular inflation is 8.3%, and it went down, guys, and we're getting a hold of this. It's absolutely not true. It's just not. You know what? You know, people are weighing, do we want to spend money on this or this? to live their lives. And that is a horrible way to live right now. And not that you should have free love and free spending and just piss away your money any way you want. You've got to live in a budget. The most successful people and the really rich people that I know and leaving that medical conference and talking to these people about budgets and, and how their family does it, it it's, it's incredible because these people go out and they have, a, they have more money than I'll ever have, some of these people, and uh, but they live their lives in such a way close to the geese for you. They live their lives in such a way that they still budget things like that. So, you know, what else? Final thing, uh, Business Insider, which I can't stand right now, I'm really getting fed up with these guys, as Business Insider is talking about, we need to get rid of middle managers in business because all they do is muck up the system. And the articles below, so, the most effective person inside of a company, if you have a decent sized company, is a middle manager. It's not your idiot son that you hire, the, he corrals the troops, no. These people are effective in making sure that people show up on time, making sure that uh, you, know, you have the amount of employees that you have. And they're cat herders is what this article says. That's insane. That's why Business Insider is an absolute joke right now. So 
you know, I reference these guys every now and then, but every now and then you get articles like this that are just absolutely insane. So again, what motivates you? What motivates you to prepare? What motivates you to realize that, that trouble is coming in a big, big way? And there's a lot of people out there that don't want to admit that. No, Dan, you're just a doom and gloomer. Everything on this channel has a source to it. Everything, everything we do. Now, the new story, look at the size of this lake. Hey, I lost my ball. Yeah, I bet you did. Okay. So, I don't play golf. I haven't played golf in years. Whatever you're gonna do, look at what's happening right now and just realize that there is something seriously up. You know, the baby formula thing is an absolute travesty that we're living through this right now. And the Enfamil company that, you know, oh, it's gonna be at least 90 days to get the uh, product back on the shelf. There should be class action lawsuits. You know, when you are a, um, a new parent, and I just had lunch with somebody, they've got a nine uh, week old baby and they brought the baby to the trip, um, to the conference, and nine week old baby, and the woman's breastfeeding, and she's like, you know, I don't know what we would do if we had to, we were in that position. Yeah, that's what people are experiencing right now. But she was saying the doctors, all they did was pitch all these different, you know, hey, we go into these appointments, hey, here's coupons, here's this, here's that to use, you know, uh, this formula, that formula, these diapers, and they do that all the time. And that's, you know, regardless of where you live uh, in the country, they do that. So again, when do people sit there and get upset? When do they sit there and say they're not going to tolerate it anymore? Again, take control of your own life right now in every aspect of it. Your finances, your food, your security, everything, absolutely everything. Please do not forget to hit the like button, guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this with everybody. And uh, again, you know, it was really tragic seeing those houses that burnt down. And I was very upset about that. And uh, I was very lucky that I got in there and got to film that at all. You know, but talking to these people and talking to uh, Parin about her situation with her medicine and stuff and you know, I think the sheriff will let me through. Well, you gotta ask, you gotta, you gotta sit there and prepare. But again, think about this, mandatory evacuation, you gotta get out of the house, you gotta leave now. What would you take with you? Do you know the answer to that question? Well, that would never happen where I lived in. Oh, okay, okay. They didn't think it was gonna happen in rich Laguna Niguel, California. Let's just leave it at that. <sighs> Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for everything. And uh, if there's any comments or anything you want to know, let me know. Also, one final thing, and that is, I put the video up yesterday with Joseph Dreamhouse. I forgot to put the link to donate. If you guys want to donate to Joseph Dreamhouse, it's going to be the top link on the video. Please give them some love over a cup of coffee, guys. Think about it. The money that you give this woman for Fran and her organization will feed hungry people. And there's a lot of hungry people right now that are hurting and could use your support. And, uh, you know, please support her. Okay. I will see you guys very soon.